Hey everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my first video in my college or back to school series and I'm super excited about this. And today I'm gonna kind of be giving you kind of my community college experience, the rundown on community college and telling you why I think community college is a good idea. Kind of giving you the pros and the cons and my community college experience. And I will be answering a few questions that I got over social media and everything like that. And also please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm gonna be posting a lot of back to school videos and I just post really fun videos over here and also if you did go to community college and you have a different experience from mine or if you just want to share your own experience definitely comment that down below I think it'd be great for people to kind of see more than one like point of view of community college and just more than one opinion so definitely comment that down below if you did go to community college I'd love to also hear about other people's stories and everything like that but yeah let's just get right into my experience and kind of just my opinions on community college so I did go to community college and just for the sake of this video Video, I'm not going to mention what school I went to just because like I don't want this to be a biased video I want this just to be based on community college in general and of course each school is going to be different but I just want to keep this unbiased and I don't want it to have like a bias to it so I went to community colleges for five semesters and everything so I did do an extra semester just to finish up a couple classes to be able to finish my tutor degree I have an AA degree so that's an associate's degree and yeah so I did go for five semesters and my major in community college was general studies just because I didn't know what I wanted to do and also like I think it's smarter to do it that way because you can get your general classes done if you're still like uncertain or you're bouncing in between a few majors I think that's a good idea so that's what I did and when I was going to community college I changed my mind so much about what I wanted to do I never changed my major but I was always like all over the place of it like at one point I wanted to go into nursing when I first applied I thought maybe I wanted to go into PTA which is physical physical therapy assistant and I'm also at one point I thought about speech therapy but yeah my community college experience was good I did end up dorming at community college and I know every school is different some of them do have dorms some of them don't it kind of depends most of the time now community colleges do have dorms and everything so like if you are gonna be like further away and you're gonna need a dorm your school most likely will have dorms and some of the dorms are nice some are kind of depends on school my school's dorms are newer so they were kind of nice and everything and yeah so I did dorm for my two years there and everything my first two years I lived in a suite which six people live in and you have a kitchen and a living room then my last semester I ended up living in a pod which is just a living area and it's usually a triple double and three singles and that's with eight people and I liked my dorming experience definitely when you dorm you're gonna run into good people and bad people and just people that are very motivated and people that have ambitions and then people that just are there just just because it's free college for them they don't really care and those people will bring you down of course like they might like be the people that are disruptive but you know you gotta just go over that and just you know like do your own thing if you know what I mean and I definitely think my experience my first year I loved college my first year I loved college both years but I felt like my experience my first year was really good and my second year experience was still pretty good but like I just felt like I had way more like fun I guess my first year which is normal sometimes one year is better than the other it kind of just depends and everything I do have a video about a roommate experience if you want to see that like it's on my channel somewhere but yeah I did have good dorming experience besides that one roommate experience that's kind of life for you in life you're gonna meet good people in life you're gonna meet some not so good people so it's kind of life for you and I feel like in college I've grown a lot and I definitely like I'm a shy person if you don't know me personally you might not know that but I've definitely learned to not let people walk all over me and I feel like in high school I was kind of worse than that I kind of let people walk all over me I got better at it as I like, got older in high school like as I was a senior I think I didn't let people walk all over me so much but I felt like living away from home was actually good for me because I felt like I just grew more got more independence and everything and stuff like that and yeah so socially I didn't really like college as much as I did academically just because I don't know I just didn't like I just like the academics way more which I feel like is important like you're going to college to like you know get a career and to like learn so you should be really focused on the academics and I feel like a lot of people when they go to college and expect like every night to be a party and definitely you can have fun every night like you can just be doing normal stuff and have fun but mostly people are focused on their 
academics, people are focused like on doing well, which I think is important. I love being around people that like are very focused on their academics, are focusing on that, are like happy with that and everything like that. And I just think that's important. Academically, I love the professors. I have, of course, I had good professors and bad professors. Everybody deals with that in college. You don't, you can't really change that, I guess I could say. Everybody goes through that, if you know what I mean. And a lot of people think that like community college professors are worse and everything than university professors. That is so false. Community college professors are like, basically they teach at other schools like around. So they might teach at a school at 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour away from the community college. So they'll teach at other schools in addition to teaching at community college. So they're, they're the same professors that teach everywhere. Community college and university are in the same level as like hardness. I used to think that maybe community college was easier and then you went to university it was harder but it's pretty much on the same level like the classes are just as hard as they will be at another university. I have professors that are very hard and I feel like that's just how it is like you have to deal with that sometimes. Some classes are hard some classes are easy it kind of depends and like I said I was a general studies major so I just took general classes which is good because I mostly have all my generals already done going into a university which I am transferring which I'll kind of talk about in a little bit and personally I felt like community college is good for me and everything just because when you go to community college it kind of eases you into university so when you're done with those first two years you're ready to go on and I definitely feel more ready and everything and I didn't end up taking off the spring semester I didn't transfer right out I took that time off just to have a breather academically I had a better experience at community college and I definitely think it was a great decision I do not regret it any bit like I loved community college loved it academically I feel like it was just a good decision for me and my brother's going to the school I went to and my cousins went to the school I went to or at least two of them did so I just knew I was going to go to the school and I'm happy I did and everything like that and I guess I'm going to be telling you more about community college so community college is a two-year school I'm sure you already knew that or you figured that out just by me saying I went there for two years and some people go there for just a year and they take all the credits they need to which I think is 60 and then they transfer to a four-year school or some people just do a year without graduating they will transfer which your credits don't transfer as easy when you do it that way so I would recommend like doing your 60 credits in a year or like doing two years like most people do and I feel like people think like if you go to community college oh that's like where all the weird people go like no like there are a lot of like people that are like super smart and stuff that go to community college I feel like people think oh if you can't get in a university if you're dumb or something like that you go to community college like no there are plenty of people that are like your typical honor students that go to community college just because it's cheaper like you save money on classes you save money on a lot of stuff especially if you're not dormant and also one thing like something I love about community college is the diversity there's people from all over that go to community colleges you would actually be surprised where some people come from to go to community college some people are foreign exchange students and they come just for community college and then there's people that come from just all over which is great and also there's people of different ages there are people that are older that might be taking classes to like for their job or they might be switching careers so they need it so they need classes so they come to community college and there are people that commute and dorm so like in your classes you might meet somebody that dorms like you do or you might meet somebody that commutes and you don't commute so you kind of meet a bunch of different people and kind of like it's a good way to meet people but I loved community college like I said like the diversity of community college the, the professors were just really good I had a lot of good professors and yeah I definitely think the pros of community college is saving money whether if you're dorming or not you do end up saving some money and just it's a good experience especially if you don't know what you're doing I think if definitely if you don't know what you're doing go to community college even if you just go for a semester or a year just go to like kind of try it out you know learn a few things and just get your generals done and it'll definitely help you like figure out what you want to do because you'll be taking classes and I feel like if you go to university and you don't know what you want to do I feel like you're wasting more money just taking random classes. I don't really find any cons in community college. Definitely some of the people there aren't there for the right reasons like sometimes they get free school so they won't be like as motivated so they kind of like drag other people down like you'll have those lazy people in college but that's like anywhere definitely I think community college is a good move and I see 
see nothing wrong with it at all. Like I know other people say, oh, like I told people I go to community college and they totally judged me. Like they were like, um, what? But like, I hate that because like there is nothing wrong with it. It's just another school. Yes, you can go there for two year nursing. You can go there for like two year other degrees. You can go there for physical therapy assistant, which is only a two year degree, but that doesn't make it different than university. It's pretty much the same thing. And I definitely think it is a great move. I'm happy I went with community college. I'm happy that I did that. I don't really know much to say about this video or what much to say more, but I definitely think community college is a good move. So if you're definitely thinking about it, research the school you want to go to and you know, like go visit it. Just do your research on the school because I know every school is different, but I definitely think community college is a good move. So if you're thinking about it, I definitely say go for it. Of course, go visit the school like you would any school, but like just, you know, like go with it. Make that move and you know, it'll be a great experience for you. And now I just want to answer a few questions that I have received. These aren't really community college based, but I did want to answer these. Okay, so the first question is from at Serena underscore Kellman. Man, if I butcher people's names, I'm sorry, but what was or is the best thing that you have experienced? That is a really good question. I'm not actually like sure. Honestly, I think it was probably the people that I met in college because I feel like college as anything, yes, it is about like the experience, about academics, but it's kind of how you make it and the people that kind of make it. I loved the people like in my classes. I met a lot of great people in each class. Like there were people that like, especially in my English literature class, I took children's literature even before I decided that I wanted to major in early childhood education before I even decided to major in that. That's, I met a lot of great people in that because we did a lot of group work. We did like book reading in groups. Like we read a book and we had like a reading group. So that was a great way to meet a bunch of people because you got to have conversation with a bunch of different people and you just got to hear other people's point of views. And it was just a great way to like talk. I did meet a lot of great people. I met people in a psychology class I took and in that class I felt like I met, met a lot of people and I feel like just I met a lot of people and I don't know, I liked the academic standpoints of it. I met people even my last semester. People were just like friendly and I loved how friendly people were. Okay, so the next question is from at underscore it's hope and she says i'm starting college in the fall any advice so i don't know if you're going to community college or university but basically my advice would be the same for both and that is definitely to at least just be friendly with one person in each one of your classes i definitely did that and it's definitely going to help you especially if you miss a class or if you're confused on an assignment then you have somebody that you can like text or facebook message or however you decide to communicate then you have somebody to talk to and also it's good to have somebody to talk to in your class also definitely wherever you go to school try to join at least one club that's what I'm gonna be doing when I go to when I transfer I'm at least joining one club because that's a great way to meet people as well and it's just a great way to get involved with your college community and just with like just be active I guess you could, I could say so I feel like those are a few good tips for anybody going into college wherever you're going so that is my advice on there and I think I got one more so this question is from Shay underscore Ambo 61 um and she says is it possible to get financial aid without paying anything up front this is a question i can't answer because i don't really know much about financial aid and everything i have loans which is a type of financial aid but i still don't know a ton about it that is definitely something your school know like the people that work in that fa financial aid office that's definitely something you can ask like at a help desk at your school like at like the their main like place i don't know what you mean like I can't really help you with this part of it, but I wish I could. I'm assuming if it's like financial aid, like based on income, I'm assuming you don't have to. But with loans, I don't know. I don't think you do. I think you just have to pay it six months after you graduate. But other than that, I'm not really sure on that. I'm not like super educated on loans, which I feel like is fine. Like, I don't know, but definitely talk to like just somebody at your school, either a financial aid person. I'm pretty sure every school has one of those or just somebody like that. I wish 
wish I could help you, but I'm clueless and that, and that's okay. So yeah, basically if you get anything out of this video, I just want to say that community college is a good decision. Like if you're going with that, just, you know, take everything from that experience, do as well as you can, do your best, and it's going to be a great experience for you. And yeah, I feel like that wraps up this video. I'm hoping this helped anybody out that is going for community college or just help anybody out that was curious about community college, whether if you're going this year or next year or not for a couple of years. I feel like this, I hope this helped you and everything. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and please comment down below if you have any other questions and also comment down below any other videos I'd like to see next, any back to school videos or any beauty or lifestyle videos. Comment those down below and I'd love to just answer your questions and just know what videos you'd like to see next. And also comment down below your experiences like I said before. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week and I would love for you to be subscribed to my channel. And also hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified. That'll just notify you when I post videos and it's a great feature. I love it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, night, whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>